Hello and welcome to the very first lecture of this complete modern JavaScript course. My name is Manoj Jha and welcome to Procademy classes. In this course, I am going to cover everything from basic to advanced concepts of JavaScript. I will cover the older versions of JavaScript like ES5 and the newer versions of JavaScript like ES6 to ES2022. So you will learn each and every concept related to modern JavaScript in this course. This course is also going to be beginner friendly, so you don't need any prior knowledge of JavaScript to proceed with this course. And this course can also be useful for expert developers because in this course, I'm also going to cover those topics which is introduced in the newer versions of JavaScript. So this is a complete JavaScript code which can be helpful for beginners as well as advanced developers. All right, with this, let's start this first lecture of this course. So in this course, I'm going to cover these topics. We will learn what is JavaScript. We will also learn what is a client side and server side JavaScript. We will learn how we can run client side JavaScript in browser. Then we will also learn why you should learn JavaScript. Next, we will learn where we can use JavaScript programming language. We will also learn what and all we can do with client side JavaScript. And we will also talk about the limitations of client side JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is one of the most popular and widely used programming languages in the world today. It is also one of the three core technologies of web design and development. So before we jump into writing JavaScript code, let's have a brief introduction of this awesome programming language called JavaScript. JavaScript is a programming language which was created for web pages. It was created to make web pages alive, that is more dynamic and interactive. A web page without JavaScript is simply a static web page. Its content cannot be changed dynamically. Also, without JavaScript, you will not be able to handle events on your web page. For example, when a button is clicked on the web page, you might want to do something like displaying an alert message to the user. Or you might want to read the form data inputted in the text box by the user. But without JavaScript, all these things are not possible. So in simple terms, we can say that JavaScript is a programming language for web. It was created to make web pages more dynamic and interactive. With JavaScript, you can access web page elements like the button element or the input element, and you can manipulate them. So that is also possible with JavaScript. And JavaScript programs can be used to handle events like click of a button. So let's say when a button is clicked on the web page, you might want to do something. You might want to show an alert message to the user or you might want to submit a form when a button in the form is clicked. So those things can be handled using JavaScript code. JavaScript was initially created to run and execute inside the browser. And this is the reason why it was also called as a client side programming language. But modern JavaScript can be executed outside of the browser environment. It can be used as a server-side programming language. A programming language can be classified into two types, client-side language as well as server-side language. Now, the programming language which can be executed on a server is called a server-side programming language. A server-side programming language is used to process receive data on the server and send back the result to the client that is to the browser a server side language involves a server for its processing the examples of a server side programming language will be c sharp java python php etc a client side programming language on the other hand requires browsers to run the program on the client machine but it does not interact with the server while processing the client side code so client side programming language does not involve any server. It gets executed in the client's browser. That is the difference between server side programming language and client side programming language. Server side programming language involves a server, but client side programming language does not involve a server. The server side programming language is executed on the server, but the client side programming language, it gets executed in the client's browser. Okay. Now, 
when javascript was created it was a client side programming language that is javascript programs were only capable of running inside the browser there was no way to run a javascript program outside of the browser environment and this is the reason why javascript was also called as client side programming language however javascript has evolved a lot since the time it was created and modern javascript programs can be used outside of the browser environment and they can be used to create mobile apps desktop apps etc modern javascript programs can also be used as a server side programming language with the help of frameworks like node.js so remember that modern javascript it can be used both as a client side as well as as a server side programming language in this course we are mainly going to learn the client side usage of javascript we are not going to learn about the server side use of javascript because that is out of the scope of this course so in this course we will use javascript to execute javascript codes in the browser now how can we execute javascript code in the browser a javascript program is always embedded inside an html document when we use javascript on client side okay so when we use javascript as a client side programming language we need to embed the javascript code in an html document and when that html document is loaded in the browser when it is rendered in the browser the javascript code attached with that html document also gets executed by the browser so remember that the client side javascript code is executed by the browser now there are two ways in which we can embed javascript code in an html document you can either write javascript code directly inside an html document by writing it within the script tag of html so in this html code you can see we have a script tag and within the opening and closing script tag we are writing some javascript code now when this html document it will be rendered in the browser it will render each elements from this html page and it is also going to execute the javascript code which is written within the script tag in this html page another way is we can write all our javascript code in a separate file and link it to the html document using the source attribute of the script tag so a script tag also have this source attribute and to this source attribute we assign the path of the javascript file where we have written the javascript code so now when this html document will be rendered in the browser and when it will be executed it is also going to look for this javascript file on the specified path and it is going to execute the javascript code written inside that javascript file so this is another approach we can use to link a javascript code to an html document and this is the approach we mainly use when developing a real world application and this is the approach we are also going to use in this course so a client side javascript is always attached to an html document and it is executed by the browser again as i mentioned before in this course we are going to learn about the client side use of javascript we are not going to talk about the server side use of javascript that is out of the scope of this course now before we talk about what a client side javascript can do let's first understand why you should learn javascript javascript is one of the most popular and widely used programming languages in the world today according to a survey from stackoverflow.com javascript is the most popular technology in the world right now and that you can see from the picture in this slide and due to the high demand there is a huge opportunity and job growth and high pay for those who know javascript you can visit different job portals to see what having javascript skill looks like in the job market there are also a lot of javascript frameworks and libraries out there which is purely built on javascript language to make developers life easy and more productive for example frameworks like angular react node etc we use them instead of using vanilla javascript because it speeds up our development process and it also provides a lot of utility code which we can use in our application instead of writing the javascript code from scratch and if you are planning to learn these technologies these frameworks a basic knowledge of javascript is required 
Once you have learned JavaScript, it will help you develop great front-end as well as back-end applications using different JavaScript-based frameworks like Angular, React, or Node.js, etc. And most importantly, JavaScript is one of the three core languages of web design and development along with HTML and CSS. It is used in web pages to add functionality. And we will talk about this in a bit. Now, where can you use JavaScript? As I mentioned earlier, JavaScript was initially created as a client-side language. But modern JavaScript can also be used out of the browser environment and as a server-side language. So, you can use JavaScript to make web pages dynamic and more interactive instead of displaying a static web page to the user. Using client-side JavaScript, you can interact with the HTML elements, you can handle events on the web page, you can change the content of the web page dynamically. So, all these things are possible with the client-side JavaScript. You can also use JavaScript to create mobile apps, desktop apps, and even develop a game. And you can also use modern JavaScript as a server-side programming language for your backend development with the help of frameworks like Node.js. In simple words, JavaScript programming language can be used as a both client-side as well as server-side programming language and also to develop mobile apps and desktop apps. However, this course is completely focused on client-side JavaScript. So let's now learn what we can do with client-side JavaScript. JavaScript is one of the three core technologies of web design and development along with HTML and CSS. It is used in web pages to make them more dynamic and interactive. So if you want to be a web developer, then you must have a good knowledge of these three technologies that is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Let's see the use of each of these technologies one by one. HTML is used to create the structure and content of the web page. With HTML, you can add paragraphs, hyperlinks, images, forms, buttons, etc. to your web page. And when you use only HTML for creating the web page, the web page will look something like this. It has all the elements, like it has header, it has text boxes, it has text, it has button, but the web page itself is not styled. So, HTML is used to add HTML elements to the web page. But for styling, we use CSS. CSS is used for formatting and styling of a web page. With CSS, you can select a font family for your website. You can choose a background color for the HTML elements or for your web page. You can set position of HTML element. You can choose a text color, etc. Basically, the job of CSS is to make the web page look nice. So, the same HTML page which we saw in the last slide is now designed with CSS. So CSS is used for styling your web page. And then JavaScript is used to make web pages dynamic and interactive. You can change the content of the web page dynamically, handle the web page events, do form validation, display animation, etc. In short, JavaScript makes your web pages alive. You can use JavaScript to validate user input in a form before submitting it to the server. You can show dynamic pop-ups on your web page to display some message or get some input from the user. You can add animation to your web page with JavaScript programming language. You can use asynchronous JavaScript code to perform long-running tasks like loading data from the backend server without blocking the user interface. And this will give an amazing experience to your website users. JavaScript can also be used to modify a web page content dynamically on runtime to modify look and feel of your website based on some event or some device. You can write JavaScript code to do things based on some events like mouse click, pointer movement, button click, key press, etc. JavaScript can do a lot more than what I have listed here in the slide. And you will learn most of these things in this course. You will learn how to validate the user input, how to collect the form data from the HTML form, how to add animation, how to change the content of the web page dynamically. All those things you are going to learn in this course. Now, there are also few limitations with client-side JavaScript. 
basically client side javascript will not allow you to read and write files on the hard disk copy them or execute any program on the user machine also javascript from one page may not access the other if they are coming from different sites that is if they are coming from a different domain protocol or port number and this is called a same origin policy and you're going to learn about same origin policy in great detail in this course so don't worry about that and most importantly javascript does not have any multi-threading or multi-processor capabilities javascript is a single threaded programming language this is very important to understand javascript is a single threaded programming language it cannot execute two codes simultaneously it can execute codes only one after the other and these limitations are for the sake of user's safety by preventing a web page from accessing private information or harming the user's data. And some of these limitations does not exist if JavaScript is used outside of the browser. For example, when we use JavaScript as a server-side programming language, there we can use JavaScript for reading and writing files on the client's machine. But that is not possible with the client-side JavaScript. All right. Now, before I wrap up this lecture, there is one more point which I want to mention here, and that is JavaScript is not Java. JavaScript and Java are two different programming languages. They are not related to each other in any way. Many beginners get confused that JavaScript and Java are same, but that is not true. JavaScript is completely different from Java programming language. So this is very important to understand for beginners. And finally, if you want to take this course, if you want to go along this course, then the prerequisite is you should have a basic knowledge of HTML and CSS. This is required. The basic knowledge of HTML and CSS is required for this course. Because as we learned, we embed JavaScript code in an HTML file. So only when the HTML file gets loaded in the browser, at that time, the JavaScript code attached to that HTML gets executed. So we are going to use HTML in this course and we are also going to use CSS in this course to design the HTML. And I'm not going to explain HTML and CSS in this course, although I'm going to use minimal HTML and CSS wherever possible. But there will be some sections where I will use a project to explain the concepts. So there we might have a lot of HTML and CSS and I will not explain the HTML and CSS in detail. So that's why for taking this course, a basic knowledge of HTML and CSS is required. And the knowledge of any other programming language can be an added advantage to take this course, but that is not required. That is optional. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions from this lecture, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.